no reason why this bus should be making this turn with kids on it. That's bus number 392 for the Boston Public Schools. And whoever designs these bus routes should change it or upgrade it. I, this is more than one time I've seen buses this large trying to make a small turn when they know they shouldn't be making that turn. There's no way that that bus should be making that turn off of Warren onto Copeland. It's, it's, it's an impossible turn for a bus that size unless it comes from the third lane and come around. So this time I'm gonna call the school department and ask them why do they have that? Uh, now he's gonna beat the horn now as if they're doing something wrong. He's been there for like the last five minutes trying to make this turn. He didn't go wide enough, but he shouldn't be making this turn with kids on it. It's just unsafe. That's a big bus. There's no reason why that bus should be making that sharp turn like that. And when they come down the street, they speed down the street like it's like it's expressway. So I don't know. I'm gonna call city city of Boston and ask him like who designed these bus routes because this is ridiculous. You know, safety first. If you can't go around the block, no shortcuts. Especially when safety is involved. He's backing out to traffic now. He's been there for like the last five minutes. And I'm gonna see how long he's gonna take him there to do this. He should be able to go wide and make this turn, but he should be driving his turn in the first place. In the middle of the street now. He's he has he has the he has the red light. Well, the cars have the green light, but he's still trying to mess around making this turn here, which he shouldn't be doing. If you're gonna do all that to make the turn, then you should be making that turn. That's that's plain and simple. There's no reason why you should have kids on a bus driving and trying to make a turn like that. As bad as these streets are narrow as it is, but yet you're trying to... What's that, 50... Uh, what's that, 20 feet? Like 20, a 20-foot 20 bus? Okay, so he's made the turn now. Pretty sure he's not dropping off anybody on the street. He's just using it as a, a cut through. We'll see if he makes a stop on the street or not. Zoom in a little bit. It doesn't look like he was making any stop on the street. He was just basically using it as a cut through. So, and even if he was dropping off somebody on the street, like when I was going to school, we had to drop, walk to the main intersection. We never got picked up door to door service. We either had to walk to the main street, which would be right here, or the main street, which would be the other end down there. You never got door-to-door -door service unless you was in the um, um, the, the, the half bus 
or the minibus or the handicap van, one of those type of vehicles, you would probably get door-to-door -door service. But if you're on that big bus like that, most likely you should not be getting door-to-door -door service. You should be walking to the major intersection where you can get picked up. But until next time, guys. Pretty good view, by the way. From where I am, I can't disclose the exact location, but from where I am, I can see all of uh, Warren Street. As far as the McDonald's over there, the, um, the Save a Lot, which is right there. And then you have, I'm not sure what that other building is over there. I like to check the old check cashing place and the liquor store down there. Um, you get a pretty, pretty good view. Until next time, signing out.